All right, so two minutes on a tidbit for today. So we're in the middle of explaining the idea that you can't judge someone else until you're in their place, as you have no clue the amount of struggles that he has to go through in order to be able to overcome the small challenges which seem small to you, but could be huge challenges to him, as he could have so many more challenges than what you see. And we said yesterday that maybe you're not really serving God in the greatest way possible that you're able to, and you have no right to judge him, because there's so much more that you could be doing in the side of doing good and being able to grow in your Judaism, so you can't really judge him for not doing the things that you think he should be doing. Today's Tani al Rebbe says the same is true about the idea of staying away from bad. Now there's probably so much more of staying away from bad that you should be doing that before you start judging him for him not staying away from bad. You need to start working on your own staying away from bad as there are many things which a person pushes to the side and small little things which a person thinks are small but are really big deals and a person is able to do these things. Like the idea that if you're in the middle of speaking something which is negative about somebody else or speaking about something which you shouldn't be speaking about, it could be pleasant for you but you don't stop yourself in the middle even if it's something which is small. Or the idea of speaking about Lashon Hara, speaking with th something bad, bad about someone else, gossip about someone else, slandering about someone else, you shouldn't speak about these things. And we know even if it's something which is, seems to be a very small thing, and even if it's true, and even if it's in order to exonerate yourself from something which someone was judging you wrong, you still have no right to speak negatively about somebody else. As is known in the story in Gemara Baba Basra in the 10th parak, that Rabbi Shimon came to his father, Rabbi Yehuda, and he was complaining, his father was telling him that there was a get which was written improperly. And his son told him that I wasn't the one who wrote it, Rabbi Yehuda the tailor wrote it. And his father said to him, stay away from Lashon Hara. Even though in that case it was something which was true, and it was in order to ex exonerate himself as his father was judging him for doing it. And it was seemingly not a big deal even. It wasn't a big problem. But still, even in that case, his father said, stay away from Lashon Hara. So we see that Lashon Hara applies in this case. And a person has to be so careful not to speak negatively about someone else, even in such an example. And so to another sin which a person sometimes needs to push to the Side, or if someone doesn't do properly, is the idea of holding yourself back from things which are permitted to you. As according to some opinions, it's even deraisa. It's a biblical command. As it says in the Pasuk, this Kadishtem and Kadeshim to you, they need to make yourself holy. Separate yourself from things which are not necessary for you to have, even if they're permitted. But you need to be able to separate yourselves and be in more control of yourself. And even if, according to the opinions who say that it's not biblical, it's only rabbinical, still we know that the words of the sages are even stricter than things which are biblical. So for sure, it's something which is very important that you have to work on, and you should hold yourself back from things even which are permitted for you. But the problem with all of these things is that there's, people think that they're small things. There's something which you could just brush upon, that you scramble upon with your heel, but it's not such an important thing. But that's not true. You need to be able to work on this as we're going to continue speaking in tomorrow's Tanya. You have to realize the importance and the gravity of these sins and start working on yourself in these matters before looking at somebody else. That's the end of today's Tanya. See you next time.